There are a number of different thyroid pathologies that the otolaryngologist head and neck surgeon deals with on a regular basis, and one of the most common that uh, we deal with is goiter. Goiter is where there are nodules, usually multiple nodules within the thyroid that grow over time to sometimes very remarkable sizes and can cause local uh, problems in terms of swallowing and breathing sometimes. And this sometimes requires surgery uh, to uh, to avoid the complications that can come from this goiterous enlargement of the gland. That can be sometimes very difficult surgery and Dr. Brooks will talk about some of the problems that we can, uh, uh, that we need to manage uh, during uh, such a goiter surgery. So goiter surgery can be challenging. Uh, we have to be extra careful about the recurrent laryngeal nerve which in certain cases of large glands can be sort of tented or pulled up by the gland as we start to remove it. Um, we also have to be very careful to preserve the parathyroid glands, which in the setting of a large uh, goiter can be difficult to identify. In order to optimize nerve function and preservation, we recommend the use of intraoperative nerve monitoring. Um, we also believe it's important for a otolaryngologist who's very experienced in these types of procedures to be performing, especially these large goiter surgeries. Otolaryngologists, head and neck surgeons are especially uh, uh, trained to manage the airway and the larynx in the setting of large goiters. So the otolaryngologist head and neck surgeon is a great choice for this sort of surgery. Please uh, peruse the enthealth.org website for more information and you can click on the find an ENT icon to find a local otolaryngologist near you.